Known as one of the best netminders of his generation, Lundqvist, as a previous 7th round pick, has definitely exceeded expectations. But as you may know, as much as this Swedish netminder likes making saves, he also enjoys trolling when he can. In this video, I'm going to highlight the five times that Lundqvist has gotten the last laugh at the expense of opponents, fans, and even referees. And with that, here are five troll moments from the king himself. Following his stellar performance in net after collecting a shutout on November 10th of 2015 against the Carolina Hurricanes and breaking two franchise records in the process, Lundqvist decided to treat one lucky fan to a souvenir they'd never forget by tossing his stick into the crowd. This innocent act, though, seemingly brought the worst out of nearby fans in the vicinity. As Lundqvist, who seemingly remembered the incident weeks later, decided to make light of it while making another post-game appearance on ice as one of the game's three stars. This time, instead of launching his stick over the boards, though, Lundqvist only pretended to before skating off with a smile. Nearly a decade ago, during a regular season game against Pittsburgh, things got pretty heated in the first period, between Hank and the Penguins' captain, Sidney Crosby. The altercation began immediately after Crosby, who was clearly to some degree embellishing on the play, fell to the ice after coming into contact with Rangers defenseman Mark Stahl. Lundqvist, who had a better view of the dive than anyone, immediately became incensed and decided to let Crosby know that he didn't appreciate the embellishment. As referees rushed to the scene and Lundqvist back to his crease, a scrum immediately ensued before being broken up. Now we all know that for some reason, referees' ability to officiate seemingly dissipates as the postseason commences. And round one of the 2012 Stanley Cup playoffs for Lundqvist and his team, this was also true. After a very controversial goal in the third period of Game 6 wasn't waved off, no one became more enraged at the interference being deemed fair play than Lundqvist himself, who didn't hold back following the Rangers' win as he gave the officials a piece of his mind while yelling, you suck, before turning to the camera and saying joke on live TV. Obviously, the king has no problem with letting the men in the white and black stripes know when they're in the wrong. And for Lundqvist, the game that took place in Pittsburgh towards the end of the 2015-16 season was no different. After getting run into by a teammate at the time, Ryan McDonough, in the second period, Lundqvist, who had lost his stick in the process, decided that he would get creative in order to draw a whistle. And in an effort to get a stoppage in play, the netminder, while obviously enraged, purposefully flipped over the net. Even though the reckless act did accomplish the end goal by bringing the play to a screeching halt, it also resulted in a delay of game penalty for the goaltender's team. If you've followed Lundqvist over the years, you'll definitely know that he's had his fair share of run-ins with Sid the Kid in his career. In a little more than four years after he called the captain out for embellishment, Lundqvist had yet again another confrontation with Crosby during the second round of the 2014 postseason. During an after-whistle scrum between the two teams near the Rangers' net, Lundqvist saw it as the opportune time to troll Crosby yet again. As Crosby went tumbling to the ice in result of a shove from Dan Girardi, Lundqvist could be shown spraying the forward with his water bottle while skating by. Following the game as punishment for what was deemed by the league as unsportsmanlike conduct, Lundqvist was dealt a $5,000 fine. 